Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Marissa. And we're doing kind of another fashion shot. And for this particular dress, I had the idea, right? We've, we've got one thing here. The dress is kind of a form-fitting dress that shows off the figure. It also has this beautiful like embroidery on it. So we want to show those things. So in order to show the form, what I decided to do is make it kind of a silhouette, right? So we're going to light our back wall. I have a pro photo of B1X that I'm just going to blast it with light to give us a white background, right? And then she's going to... You know, because I'm in a white studio, we're getting some fill, so she's not going to be a complete silhouette, but it'll really show off the shape of her body. But if we do just that, then we're not going to see any of this beautiful embroidery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, my HMI to kind of bring that in, and then we'll, we'll add to this as we go. So let's just start with the background. We'll start there, and we'll show you what we got. I have the Fuji GFX 50R here, uh, plugged into Capture One, and we'll get like a nice kind of uh, silhouette pose going on here. I am at uh, 2.8. Um, 30th of a second, ISO 100. I'm at a 30th because I'm going to be using some hot lights. And I'm, going to, and I'm going to need that power. All right, so that's pretty good, right? That gives the shape. We can certainly see the shape of the dress. This flat light on Marissa. Who are you looking at over there? She's like, oh, oh I, didn't really, I, I don't know. You're looking at something. She's looking at something oh, over there. Right. We don't know. We don't know what she's looking at over there. So that this shows off the shape of the dress. It's beautiful, right? We see her form. It looks really nice, but we don't see that embroidery. So if I add... I've got my data light uh, HMI 200 over here, uh, fitted with a projector with framing shutters. And I've basically, if you guys have seen me use framing shutters before, basically these are going to allow me to light up just the part of the dress that I want. So we're going to just light up that strip, you know. And I feel like in this case, you can actually focus and defocus this, but I'm going to leave it kind of crisp a little bit because it's obvious we're lighting this. This is a fashion shot. I'm not trying to be subtle. So let's see with the leg. I'm gonna get that more or less in position. We're gonna watch so her fingers don't get lit. So I'm just gonna, yep, there we go, perfect. And now we've added that. And at my exposure, that should give us a nice shot, but we'll check it. There we go, that looks pretty nice. We're gonna look for detail. Yep, that all looks good. And again, her face is kind of a bit dull. You could probably, if you wanted to, um, if this had been a full silhouette, this might actually look kind of cool, but I feel like there it just looks unfinished because she's so flat. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another light. And I kind of don't want to put it from the same direction. I could just do that, but my light's pointing down. So I'm actually going to have her turn this way to create a nicer look with just her face. So she's going to turn here. I have my uh, DLED 7, which is an LED light. I'm going to shine it right in her face. There it is. This is also fitted with a projector to give us a nice... This one I'm going to soften out, though. And it's going to give us a nice kind of circle of light on her face. I've set my, uh, this is a bicolor. I'm going to set my white balance at 5500 so they match. It matches the HMI, it matches everything else, and I'm going to dim it into where I want it. We'll, see, we'll put it right there. That looks pretty nice. I'm just eyeballing it because I can see it, right? I want her face to be a little bit darker than the embroidery because the embroidery is what I'm trying to show off. Okay, so I'm going to take a peek. Say, so look, turn up at the bit. Here we go. Boom. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, beautiful. This looks really nice, guys. We're gonna come in, make sure it's nice and sharp. It is. Yep. Yeah, 2.8 at this distance gives us plenty of depth of field. This is a big file. Swoosh. 50 megapixel file, guys. When you shoot in fashion and beauty and stuff, sometimes it's nice to add the more megapixels. Uh, you know, it gives you that extra detail, extra crispness. So we'll shoot a few here. Good. And this is the kind of shot that we don't need to shoot a million. She's going to slightly move. We know the pose, right? It's very, very specific. Try a hand on the other hip, too. Powerful. There we go. Strong. Good. Twist your hips towards me a little bit. There we go. Good. One more. Good. Last one. Beautiful. Nice and simple. Just going to check here. Everything looks good. Now, we could do any number of things here, right? We could add different lights, we could add gels, we could do whatever. You can come out of the light. It says she's equally exposed to me. You can't have Marissa in the light if I'm not in the light, because that's not fair, right? You don't get to be in your own light. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, again, again, I say this a lot when we're doing fashion type stuff. Look at the outfit. Think about what's important in the outfit. That's as important if you're a model posing it, it's important if you're a photographer lighting it. Yeah, there's kind of your standard catalog shots where everything's nice and even, but very specifically, if you're trying to showcase part of an outfit, you want to look at what's important in the outfit, showcase those things with your lighting and your pose, and you'll get a much nicer fashion shot. So be sure to follow Marissa. We'll put her information in the description. Follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer. 
Subscribe to Adorama TV and ring the bell, and I'll see you next time on set.